Hello, everyone, and welcome. It is time for the welcome video for the May Grand Sumo Tournament, May of 2023. And I apologize right off the bat. Um, I had a bad cold about a week ago, and uh, I'm recovering. And my voice is a little hoarse. It's, it was really bad for a few days. Like I could barely talk. Um, but uh, yeah, so hopefully it's not making your speakers vibrate or uh, I won't have to sing later on. <laughs> no karaoke for me during Golden Week. So Golden Week is a holiday that just happened. Uh, we have a few national holidays. Constitutional Memorial Day, Greenery Day, Children's Day, which was on the 5th on Friday. All of that with um, the, the 29th is also a holiday. So they give a lot of places give an entire week off. So I had from, you know, Monday the 1st through Friday the 5th of May, no school. So I had the time off. But unfortunately, I got sick and I really didn't do much. I did go see um, Super Mario, which uh, it was unusual that it was playing in English with Japanese subtitles in my area. Uh, but there was one screening a day just for the first week until Guardians came out. And then, you know, they nixed that for the Guardians. Uh, Guardians opened here just like it did in a lot of places in the world. Guardians of the Galaxy Part 3 went and saw that. So I did go to the cinema a few times, but didn't do any massive traveling. Uh, it's a real headache, actually, to travel in Japan. Um, there's been some fun pictures on Twitter, just massive crowds. People are really out. Tourists are back in Japan in, in large numbers. The weather's been mostly good. Um, you know, it, it's, it's warming up, but it's not hot yet. And there's been some rain, like today's raining. Um, no real sun helping me with lighting here, natural lighting. It's Sunday now. I go back to work tomorrow. Um, the main problem is, uh, I've kind of lost hearing in this ear, not completely, uh, but you know, it's a, like a, you know, it's kind of like swimmer's ear, you know, everything's kind of echoing. I, I don't fully hear out of this ear. And so I went and got some pills for that. And uh, uh, luckily, I did all this last Tuesday because part of Golden Week, uh, if you ever come to live in Japan or visit during that time, is everything shuts down. That's not like uh, consumer related. Like, of course, the grocery stores are open. McDonald's is open. Um, the malls are open uh, because everybody else is off work. But like my doctor, my local guy who I go to when I have a, you know, a cold or have a problem, um, he, you know, worked until Tuesday, the second, and then he was off three, four, five and the weekend. So he wouldn't have been open again until tomorrow, Monday. And uh, so luckily I got to see him. And then he's like, oh, well, you also need to go see an ear, nose, throat guy, you know, in addition to the antibiotics to take care of this. And uh, my eye was all red. It was just a bad scene. And so he gave me a bunch of medicine and uh, that knocked out most of the cold and flu type stuff that was happening. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, the, the medicine I got for my ear, it's helped a little, but not enough. So that's a bummer. But uh, as you can see, I'm functioning and uh, ready to go here. So long winded intro over. Let's dive in. So a lot of you are concerned. I think last video I had my green doors over here. Uh, over on this side and I had that area open and so it was covering Okinaumi um, and uh, those sliding doors come over and and can just sort of sit right there in that white piece between the revolver poster and Okinaumi and uh, a lot of you are like what happened to Okinaumi did you take him down and I'm like no no he's still there he's still there so I'll probably flip him actually for the July boss show we'll go back to the other side He's going to stay up for a while. He's he's not going anywhere. So don't worry about him. Um, and uh, maybe one of the last times I can wear a long sleeve shirt for a while when I do is, of course, my uh, my logo shirt, which is available on the shop. Because um, now it is going to get warmer. And um, I'm in that sweet spot. If you've ever lived in Japan, you know about this, where like you, you're not, you don't have to use your heat anymore. You put away, you know, the kotatsu blanket goes away and all that stuff. And you're not using your air con like heater anymore. And you don't have to turn on your air conditioning yet either. You can just sort of open your windows occasionally or, you know, and it's it's nice and cool. It's around 20 degrees C most of the time. And you're just like, yeah. So, <laughs> um, but that will soon go away as June comes and then it's air conditioning. And and I'll I'll be, I'll probably be pulling out my Sempuki, my, my oscillating fans. 
uh, next weekend. Ah, but the Mayba show, the reason you clicked on this video, starts on 14th of May, which is Mother's Day here in Japan. I don't know if it's Mother's Day in other parts of the world. Uh, and then it, it concludes on May the 28th. It's in uh, Tokyo, because we obviously were just in Osaka for March, back to Tokyo. Then next time we'll be in Nagoya for July. And so uh, we'll be in Tokyo. And lots of news, you know, to, to cover in a moment as I switch over to the Bonds K. But the big, the big news, and I, I think I posted about it um, in multiple places on my Twitter, uh, on directly on the channel, on the community tab uh, on the channel, uh, that Ichinojo, uh, the longtime Makuchi veteran who just kind of got demoted, uh, was having some problems, got demoted down to Jurio, but then roared right back with a great Jurio Yusho championship in, in March is having, uh, he's citing back problems. That it's even even so bad that he's having a hard time walking and sitting and other things. And as a large human, I understand that to a certain extent. I've had my problems with my back over the years. Um, and so he he decided to hang it up. And he's only 30. Um, uh, he just turned 30, in fact, I think back in January. So we'll look at him in a moment. But that's the big news. Ichinojo uh, retiring. So he'll come off the... Uh, the, the bonds of K and I didn't even include him in the contest, the contest, and I'll be showing prizes, uh, you know, things you can get in the contest uh, later in the video. So stick around for that if you're interested. Um, and uh, the, of course, the, the other one will be Wakataka Kage, who we know is going to take months and months to recover from his injury. So he's on the bonds K. They have to list him, but we know he's not going to compete. So he is also not included in the drop-down menu where you can pick guys for the contest um, because we know he's not going to show up. So even though we're a week away, you know, from day one on the 14th, I'm currently filming this on the 7th, uh, we already know two combatants in the top division who will not be fighting. Okay, but let's jump over there and look at the Bonds K and get started here on our discussion. <clears throat> so Terano Fuji should be back by all accounts. He attended some uh, like practice scrimmage matches with uh, some of the other high-ranked guys and uh, is ready to compete. Now, that doesn't mean that he's, you know, after six months off, that he's ready to do 15 days in a row and, and, and who you know, against guys who are hungry, hungry for those wins, hungry for that Kinboshi, the gold star when you beat a Yokozuna. Uh, but uh, he will be competing, and we'll see how he does on day one. The other, of course, big one is Taki Keisho. Uh, the Ozeki, of course, uh, had to pull out of the tournament. And so, uh, you know, at a time when he was, you know, a 12 and 3 and a 12 and 3 and he'd won the Makuchi, people thought, oh, you know, maybe he'll be going for Yokozuna. And then it all went sideways. And so now he's Katoban. And that means he has to get eight wins in May or he would be demoted. And this, of course, leads to a problem with, well, what do we do if we have no Ozeki? Um, and we can talk about who might get promoted to Ozeki in a moment. But, uh, yeah, it could be a real problem. So I'm rooting for him. I'm rooting for him to get his eight and stay at Ozeki. Uh, but we'll have to see how what kind of shape he's in. Uh, then we have four Sekewake, uh, Hoshoru, Kiribayama, Daisho, and Wakamoto Haru. So Kiribayama, of course, look at that smile. He is the uh, champion of the uh, March Boss Show with a 12 and 3. Also the Gino Show Technique Prize winner. A very impressive end of the Boss Show run here of wins. Of course, he got a walkover against Wakataka Kage as he pulled out very late in the tournament there on day 14. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, really good run. And, you know, with his 11 and 4 and his 12 and 3, uh, you know, that's... Uh, 23 wins <clears throat> at a Sekewake, uh, you know, I'm, at, I'm sorry, at a Sanyaku rank, Homosubi or Sekewake. So he is the most likely Ozeki candidate. All he really needs is 10 wins or more um, at Sekewake here in May, and he will be an Ozeki for sure. Um, 10 quality wins, you know, um, he doesn't want to, you know, have a run of losses or lose to, you know, 
all the upper rank guys. He's got to probably beat uh, Takikesho or Terran Fuji or both. That would really help cement it. Uh, but uh, very, very likely candidate to get promoted. Uh, Wakamoto Haru is also uh, in line. He's uh, got nine at Komusubi and 11 at uh, Komusubi, and now at Sekewake for the first time in his career. But, you know, nine and 11 is 20. So theoretically, the 33 threshold that's sort of there, if he if he were to win the U show or go 14 and one or 13 and two as a runner up, um, he could possibly get promoted to Ozeki. So we'll be keeping our eye on him, of course. And then you have Daesho and Hoshoru. Hoshoru, unfortunately, uh, you know, 10 and 5 and the 8 and 7. I mean, he's been Sekewake for so long and in, in the top Sanyaku ranks. I mean, for a whole year here um, and consistently getting Kachikoshi. But, uh, you know, obviously this is not going to this is not setting him up. Now, this could be the start of something. If he has a really good tournament in May and then a really good tournament in July, you know, he's on his way. Then we get down to Komosubi. We have Kota Nowaka, Shodai coming back up into Sanyaku, and Wakataka Kage, who, as we know, uh, this will be the first one where he goes, uh, you know, they they demoted him just one rank from Sekewake to Komosubi because he did get seven wins before he had to pull out um and and but it's just inevitable that he'll fall then down to a Maigashira rank and then down to Jurio and then down to Makushita uh as he has to pull out uh, multiple bashos as he recovers from his knee injury so we'll keep an eye on where he's at each time but he obviously won't be competing until 2024 from what i've been told it'll it'll be at least next year before we see him back on the dohyo and he will be probably maybe even below Makushita, maybe even in Sandamne, the, the fourth tier division by then. So we'll just have to keep an eye out. All right, and then we get into our Maigashira rank. We have Abi, Midori Fuji, Endo, Takiyasu, Tobizaru, Nishiki Fuji, Nishikigi, and Nishiki Fuji, one rank apart, just to make it hard on us people that talk about Sumo. Ura, Kimbozan, very impressive man from uh, Kazakhstan. Uh, you know, Jurio 5 and 11 and 4 to jump up into Maigashira and then gets another 11 and 4 in his debut tournament in the top division, gets the Kanto show, and they promoted him way up the Bonzuke to Maigashira 5. So he's going to be fighting a definite different, you know, group of guys that he wasn't fighting. You know, he's going to probably fight a lot of the Komusubi and Sekewake. So it's a very good test for him to see how he's going to do. Takeyumi, former Ozeki, now down at M6. Hokuto Fuji, Tamawashi. Tamawashi, I've heard, is having problems. And, and I hope he doesn't have to sit out because that would end his streak. But uh, for the first time, I think, you know, age is starting to catch up. And I've heard he's having ankle problems. So we'll keep an eye on Tamawashi. Takenosho Saranumi, Onosho Hirada Umi. Takara Fuji Ryuden. Hokuseho, another big man from Hakuho's stable. Uh, you know, doing well. I mean, you know, he 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 worked his way up. Jurio too made his debut, just like Kim Bozan. You know, nine and six is a good debut. Um, obviously didn't get promoted near as far up the bonds K, but he's at my guess year eleven. So uh, we'll keep an eye on him. And Aoyama Kotoeko. There's Ichinojo. He was going to be M thirteen, uh, but he this space will be vacant. And then Asanoyama is of course another big story. Will he just dominate and uh, and maybe you know win the U show from a low rank? Um, he should eat all the the low guys down here for breakfast. Uh, so will they pull him up to fight some of the Homosubi and Sekewake guys? Um, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. But at first, they're, they're going to pair him up with guys around his rank, and then if he you know goes undefeated, let's say he gets his. Kachikoshi on day eight, you know, he's eight. No, then we're going to start to see him fighting guys much higher up the chart. Ichi Yamamoto, Surugisho, Oho Mitoru. And we have one guy, Maigashira seven, Kageyaki at M17. And of course, uh, you know, right away we have two people off the chart. So instead of 21 matches, 
in a day, which is the normal. We'll start with 20. I don't think they're going to bring up two jury o men right away to fill in the empty spots. I think they'll just, you know, go with 20 matches and then we'll see how it goes from there. Speaking of jury o, let's have a quick look over there. All right. Uh, Gonoyama and Shonanumi uh, poised if they can just get Kachikoshi to get promoted. Uh, Tohakuru Azumaru Enho, popular Rikshi. Uh, he hasn't been this high in a while. Let's see when's the last time. Yeah. Yeah, he was Jurio 4, but didn't, you know, got a 7 and 8 back in January. And down to 5 now, he's bounced back up to 3. So this is his best chance yet to maybe bounce back into uh, the top division. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, Roga, the man from Russia. Uh, is this his highest rank ever? Let's see. Uh, yep. So Jurio 4 for him. And uh, Oshoma Tochinoshin. Uh, I know a lot of you are hoping uh, to see good things from the Georgian. Just kind of grinding it out. 5 and 10, though, at Jurio 2. After having, you know, obviously to pull out when he was a Maigashira, which has got what put him down into the Jurio division. So, uh, yeah, that's 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 worrying if you're a Tochi Notion fan. But we'll see how he does at Jurio 5 here this tournament. And then the rest of the group here. Uh, Ochi, of course, the other big uh, up-and-comer from Hakuho Stable, Miyagino Stable. Um, you know, very good 10-5 and five in his Jurio debut after taking the Makushita Championship. And, uh, you know, a little stumble here late uh, after a nice string of wins. But, you know, he lost Ichinojo, who went on to win the whole tournament. Of course, he lost Asanoyama. That's to be expected. Uh, but, you know, at Jury 08, I expect to, him to get double-digit wins, to be honest, um, and, and be in the hunt for the, the Jury O Championship. Uh, and then you got a guy, a few of the guys that are coming up. Uh, and uh, how do you say this guy's name? Uh, Fuji, and then Sei-Un. Fuji Sei-Un. Uh, I'll have to hear some announcers say it, make sure I'm I'm doing it. He's a Japanese native. Um, but uh, finally making it up uh, after a long toiling in the Makashita and just not being it like here he was at Makashita 2 and just couldn't pull the trigger. Finally got a 4-3 and three at Makashita 2, so he makes his Jurio debut, and uh, that is the highest rank he's ever had in his career. Um, but he's a young guy, you know, so, you know, just making his way up. He's from Fujishima Stable. Who else is in this stable? don't know this one that well. Ah. Uh, Ebu Shozan, I've heard of him, and then this guy, and then everybody else is low ranked. So, you know, some of these stables, they don't have anybody in the, you know, the top two divisions very often. You, you don't think about them as much. Uh, let's look at some of the topics. So, basically, just talking about, you know, how everyone's staying where they are. You know, Takikesho's Kadoban, we knew about that. Uh, Hoshoru. Uh, Sekewake for the fifth, Sanyaka for eight consecutive tournaments. So shoulder has been in thing. They, they talk about uh, Wakamoto Haru making his debut at Sekewake. Um, Wakataki Kage is Komusubi again. Uh, unfortunately, not for a good reason. Uh, but he does stay in Sanyaku for eight consecutive tournaments, although he won't compete this tournament. Uh, Komusubi returns Shodai. Makuchi return Ichinojo, but we know about him. And the other Makuchi return is Asanoyama. So nobody making their debut in Makuchi that's never been there before. Um, and then, like I said, this guy, Fuji Seiyun, Seiyun uh, making his Jurio debut. And the other guy making his Jurio debut is Toko, no, to, not Toko, Toki, Toki Hayate. Toki Hayate. Um, university guy okay so keep an eye on him um and then this interesting note about tochi musashi this is the second time in history that a newly promoted jurio rikshi i'm reading down here guys uh who won the championship has fallen to the makushita without having experienced to reach makuchi and it happened back in 1988 way before i had even started watching sumo on a regular basis so let's go look at Tochi Musashi and see. Uh, so, was, so wait, 
he he's not even in Jurio anymore, I think is what they're saying. Okay, let's go down to Makashita. <laughs> oh, here he is. So Ah, okay, I see. So he came up from Makushita in September of last year, won the Jurio Championship. I remember that. Okay, that's why I know the name. Got an 11 and 4 from a low ranked Jurio position, won the whole thing. Uh, 11 and 4 is a really, it was probably a playoff. Then they promoted him to Jurio 7. He got a losing record. Let him stay at Jurio 7 because it was only a 7 and 8. Then he got a 4 and 11. And then at Jurio 12, he got a 4 and 11, and now, and now he's back in Makushita. So what they're saying is he's the only wrestler since 1988, which is a long time ago now, who has come up into Jurio, won a Jurio championship, and then not made it to, uh, not made it out of Jurio into the top division. Now he's back into the lower, you know, the third division. So that's kind of unfortunate for him, but that doesn't mean he can't. Uh, come climb back in and, and go again here. So, uh, okay. So we have lots to talk about. Uh, if you want to see uh, tachii.org's great uh, coverage here, you can see things that they talked about. And uh, here is a big thing that they talk about with uh, why do we need two Ozeki? So if you're like, why do we need two Ozeki? Uh, th they ask this question right here. Why? <laughs> Um, and and he goes into it and and how it's tradition and uh, and then what would happen if uh, none of the guys like Kiribayama step up to get promoted and Takikesho, uh doesn't get his eight wins so he he is Kadoban and gets demoted to Sekewake where he gets that one time chance to bounce back uh, but for one Bonsake in uh, July we would have no Ozeki perhaps and so there he's talking about what could possibly happen so that's kind of an interesting article if you're interested in kind of the minutia of the uh, sumo bonzake and, and and how things work uh, i recommend reading this article and then they had some coverage of course of ichinojo retiring so if you want to read a little bit more about that um i will warn you uh i didn't i didn't read it because i just i just clicked on it today but there's this long ass article. I don't know what they they were they were smoking some 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 of the ganja about chatting with Chat GPT um, about sumo, I guess. So Andy uh, just went full bore, and you got to scroll way down to get to some of these other articles, but they're there. Um, so um, if if somebody takes the time to read this Andy article, uh, let me know. Is it worth my time? Uh, it it looks awful long. Sorry, Andy. Uh, but there you go. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's go over and look at some of Fred's charts. So Fred Pink, of course, the awesome Fred. The links to all this stuff is down in the doobly-doo. Uh, so just look down there. And uh, Fred Fred puts out this one fun chart. Uh, let me share it with you. And it's... Um, <clears throat> I don't really talk about it much, but it's kind of fun. So it's a scatter chart of the height and weight of some of the top ranked guys. He's, you know, he's got Hakuho on here, for instance, and, you know, 190 centimeters. And he's got some, you know, about approximate heights in inches and feet. And so Tochi Notion's a tall guy. Oho, Terano Fuji's a tall guy at 192. Um, but he also weighs a lot at 184. So he's way over here. Kaisei is a combination. Ichinojo, big combination here. Weight, extremely uh, big weight and very tall at 190 uh so uh some of these guys uh you know he he should add for instance hokuseho would be on here because hokuseho is two meters tall um 200 centimeters so he would be the tallest man on this chart and i don't think he's in the 170s or 180s as far as weight i think he's more in the 150s uh but uh yeah, that's kind of interesting that, uh, you know, he would be one of the extreme uh, points on this chart now. So he's probably got to update it a little bit. And then you get down to some of our smaller guys. You get your Ishiura. Uh, you get your Teretsuyoshi, who, you know, has kind of fallen off. He doesn't have Enho on here. Enho would be down here in this area um, <clears throat> as far as height and also weight. He would be like way over here in the corner. 
Um, but you know, Ura, Toby Zaru, Taki Keisho, uh, not very tall at 175. And eh, it's just interesting, kind of like instant look at sort of how big some of the opponents are. Kiribayama, of course, trying to become an Ozeki. Fairly tall, 185, but a little bit slender at 140. But I, you know, he's got him, you know, when he was still Maiga Shiro one here. So ah, it's of the January 2022 bonds. Okay. So yeah. So maybe after this tournament, maybe he'll update this and add some guys in. Um, get your Kimbo's on in there and get your Hokuseho, et cetera. But this is just another fun chart that he puts out. So if you kind of just want to see how some of the guys compare uh, height and weight, you know, uh, which is not everything in sumo, but it's certainly a huge factor. Uh, I just thought that was a fun one to look at. Okay. And then, of course, the typical Fred chart that we always look at every time is his preview. And he, uh, oops, uh, I see. Okay, maybe I have to do, wait. Am I screen sharing? Are you guys seeing this? I hope you're seeing this. Okay, it says you're sharing. Oh, I know a way I can make sure. Can I get rid of that? There we go. All right. So uh, you just kind of see where people are at. Terano Fuji's won seven uh, tournaments. Takakesho's won three. Uh, everybody else is at one, I think, except Matakeyumi's got three. Kamawashi has two, which is always nice. And Asanoyama. Uh, Asunaba's never won a tournament. Why do I think he went won a tournament one time? Okay. Uh, there you go. Maybe he did and Fred didn't update it. Hmm. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah, because Ichinojo won a tournament in the top division. So maybe he just glitched on those two guys. Uh, but, uh, there you go. Uh, so you can see some of the big falls. For instance, uh, Tamawashi, you know, the 3-12 and 12 here in March took him all the way down to Maigashira 7. Uh, another big fall here, Ryuden, 2-13, and 13, ouch, at Maigashira 2, all the way down to Maigashira 10. Eight rank drop. Here's another big drop. Ichi Yamamoto, 4-11 and 11 at M8, all the way down to M15. Tagayaki barely holding on with a 5-10 and 10 at M12. But, I mean, if you look at all this green here, Toward the bottom, these are all uh, Kachikoshi. That means, you know, green means they got Kachikoshi. So they didn't have a whole lot of people to choose from. They took Bushos on down to Jurio and Azumaru, who went 4 and 11 and M11, but they spared Oho. You know, 7 and 8 is, you know, obviously, usually you only get demoted a rank, and that's what they did M15 to M16. Um, so, and then of course, some of the big green lines going up, like Kimbo's on here. Midori Fuji, who's another one? Nishiki Fuji with a 10 and 5 at M10, now all the way up at M3. So that's a seven, uh, seven leap. A lot of straight across lines for our Sekiwake and Komosubi. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Daisho, you know, was able to take that 12 and 3, uh, the runner up performance, and at least get promoted to Sekiwake. They made room for him, of course. And so, uh, you know, He's and what did he have before that? Die show. He went 10 and 5, but see, that's an M1. So I don't think those M1 wins will count as far as him possibly getting promoted. Um, I think they would want him to have one good tournament at Sekewake, and then maybe, uh, you know, he'd have to repeat in July. Uh, but anyway, so Fred's chart's always fun. I will put the link. You can go download it as a PDF and, and, uh, have a look at it and uh, see where people are ending up. And uh, he always puts out one of this updated a few days after the Basho ends. So if you're interested, he then puts out uh, one right after the Basho ends, and then he waits until the Bonske comes out and then puts out a puts out a new one with the uh, the new rankings. All right. So prizes, are we there? I think we're there. Um, Let's see. Anything else I need to share? Let me see really quick. Chotomate. I ah just uh, some of the prizes. I'm going to show you some of the prizes. But as always, um, if you don't want one of the prizes and you're one of the winners, I will give you a gift card to Robert's wonderful site. Big sumo fan. Lots of fun stuff here. You can pick up uh, pages and pages. Uh, if you do view all, 159 products. Wow. 
uh, that you can look at here uh, for your sumo collection. So the sumo contest, I wanted to do it a little different just because I looked at the bonds can. I went, well, you know, it, it's a little difficult. So uh, <laughs> Mike made this AI generated art here. Kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be shadow or a beard. Obviously, most sumo wrestlers don't have beards. And we have had some sumo wrestlers with some mighty mutton chops before. Um, typical sign-in page. But the big change here is six. Six groups instead of five this time, guys. So I wanted Terano Fuji and Taki Keisho to kind of be their own thing. So it's 50-50. You know, who do you think is going to get more wins? The Yokozuna returning or the Katobano Zeki? Uh, who do you have faith in? Uh I don't think either one of them is going to win the U show, but who do you think is going to get more wins to help your team? Right. Then the Seke Wake is kind of an interesting one. Uh, I think all four choices uh, are very viable. So, but you got to choose one. And then I put the Komasubi instead of grouping the Komasubi with the Seke Wake, um, which I didn't think was quite fair to Colton Owaka and Shodai. Um, I put them with M1 and M2. So you've got this grouping. Um, do you think Kotonowaka is going to continue his hot streak? Is Abi going to show up? Is Endo going to have a great tournament? Takayasu going to do a Takayasu thing where we all believe again? <laughs> then you get the M3s through the M7s. So you get your Uras, Uras, your Tobizarus. Kim Bozan's in there. The Takayumi, Hokuto Fuji, Tamawashi, although, yeah, I'm worried about him. M8 through M12. Okay. And uh, interesting group there again. And then, of course, the bottom group. And I can already tell you who the majority of people are going to pick down here. It's no big surprise. But if you want to take a flyer and think that somebody in this group is going to get more wins than Asanoyama, go for it. <laughs> and that's it. So it's six groups. That's the big difference. Normally, it's been five, right? So it's six groups to pick from. And uh, I will open that up right as I post the video and you'll have about a week as always if you're new to the channel and you haven't done the contest before it's free all you got to do is put in a username and um and an email and uh uh and then you know pick somebody in each drop down menu and that's your team of six guys so you're rooting for them all during the 15 day tournament just to get the most wins you take the 10 wins this guy gets the eight wins this guy gets the hopefully 12 wins this guy gets and you add them all together and somebody will get 50, 55, 60 wins for their team. Um, and that person wins a prize from me. And I had pretty good luck sending stuff out um, last time. Uh, mail is still a little difficult, uh, but uh, uh I did send one prize because I was kind of misunderstood an email and I wanted this person to get the prize in time because I thought they were coming to Japan. So I sent it um, EMS, which is like trackable, kind of like the post office's like special delivery. And it ended up costing me 3,900 yen to mail you know, an item that's not worth that much. That's probably about $33 just in shipping for that one item. So that was silly. Um, but it did get there in like a week, whereas America right now, I can't send anything airmail. And a lot of you that win are from America. I can only send surface, which means it goes on a boat and it takes three, four, five weeks to arrive. But it's not that big a deal. I mean, it's not like it's, you know, life or death items, right? It's just some fun sumo souvenirs. But other countries, you know, I sent to the Netherlands recently. I sent to uh united arab emirates somebody won from there i sent to singapore sent to new zealand so you guys are all over man and that's awesome so thank you for that um if you want to go by the tip jar uh i'm pretty caught up on emails i think uh please feel free again the, the main reason i'm kind of making an appeal now more so than i have in the past where i don't usually mention it that much is just because the 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 exchange rate for me to send my Japanese money that I earn here as a teacher back to America to, you know, pay bills. And I used to have to send money home to help my dad and things like that. It's so terrible right now that, you know, if I send 10 mon, you know, a hundred thousand yen 
which normally kind of a hundred yen to a dollar would get me a thousand American dollars. I'm getting like 750 American dollars. So you can see I'm, it's like, it, it's like my salary is not worth as much in American dollars. So when you guys donate to PayPal and it goes into my American, you know, account, it, it just is this, this is a particular time where it helps. Um, so I would, I appreciate that. And uh, thank you to all the people that do that. Okay, um, I think that's everything covered. Like I said, links to merch, all that stuff down in the description. And so prizes, okay. So I kind of want to not get rid of, but I want to send out some certain prizes this time. So if you win, please choose one of these prizes I'm about to show and I'll I'll reshow them in the, in the wrap up video. Or, you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll always, you know, be happy to send you an Amazon gift card or a big sumo fan gift card, you know, because sometimes that's just easier and it works. But these are what I would like to send as prizes instead of towels and some of the other stuff I've been sending recently. I did buy a whole sealed box, never opened. Uh, all uh, 20 packs are in here of 2022 sumo wrestling cards. So you could win an autograph card uh, out of these packs. Um, they've, you know, it's never been opened and you could, you probably won't get a set. You know, if you've ever watched one of my unboxing videos, um, this is a 81 card set. Um, usually you're, you know, five or six cards short, uh, but uh, you can trade for those or, or even email me and maybe I'll have them. But anyway, so I was able to get this fairly cheap on a Yahoo auction site. So it it's just a fun, fun prize, and that'll be a first-place prize. In honor of Ichi Nojo, the moment I heard that he retired, I went on Yahoo Auctions, and I bought two things, and neither of them have arrived yet, although I've paid for them both, so they'll, they'll arrive this week. One is just a fun little, like, keychain like this guy, my Okonomi. See how it has thing, but you can also put it on a stand, and a magnet, okay? Um, so just little little small itchy nojo items that would be for like a second place person but the other first place prize is i found uh this is not the card of course this is the terano fuji sign card but they're you know they're numbered uh i don't know if you can see that yeah they're maybe they're numbered out of 60 and they're from bbm and they have the little stamp that's raised here and it's an itchy nojo from a year or two ago signed by him so you know he won't sign any normal cards anymore um so sign itchy nojo card and the box of cards those are what i consider the two first place prizes so if you win first place uh those are some of the things you can get what are some of the other things you can get because you know usually i have multiple winners right i'd like somebody to take these nano blocks off my hands i bought those like a year ago and and uh nobody's really wanted it it's just cool little lego type of set and you can make a little rikshi there with his yokozuna rope I've got a little set of eight Hakuho cards. So if one of you is a Hakuho fan, um, I'm not going to take them all out and show you. They're sort of normal, recent vintage, but it's easy for me to just put this in an envelope and mail it uh, somewhere. Uh, one interesting thing I have is this kinetic art. It's like a mobile or a mobile. I don't know how you say that where you're from. And it's just got some hanging stuff. The kanji says sumo and a uh, sumo poses. And it's, you know, really flat. It'd be easy for me to mail. Um, so, yeah. Maybe I'll throw something else in there, too, if you want that. Um, I do have a few towels. Um, this is, I believe, Endo. Somebody can let me know if you think it's somebody else. I believe that's Endo. Oh, it's a nice blue towel. And then I have this one that's kind of um, just fun. Kind of looks like cherry blossoms a little bit and has little sumo guys on it, as you can see there the 700 yen when I bought it. And so these are very helpful if you ever come to Japan um, because they don't have, most Japanese public restrooms don't have paper towel. So you keep this in your pocket, you know, wipe some sweat off and, and able to dry your hands after you wash your hands after you use the restroom. The other thing I'd like to get rid of is some of these clear files I've purchased. Um, here's a Wakataki Kage. So if you're a fan of his, um, I don't know if they'll be making as much of his merch uh, for, for very much longer. Um, I've got this older one that's like Endo Ura and Ishi Ura. Um, it's, this, I think, is cool. It says, Sumo Japan is dynamic on the back. Um, what else do I got? Oh, no, other way. 
uh enho and yeah, kind of cool it just has the logo on the back and then i have this odd one that's like old sumo poses and kimarite <laughs> and i know and another enho one okay so that kind of that style and so i have those um i could send you a couple you know if you're a winner and you want that uh i have the really big and i think i have an envelope big enough for this because this is what we in japan call a4 size as you can see, it's pretty big. This is the program, the official program from when I went to the Osaka Basho. And um, it's just a lot of pictures and info about all the wrestlers. And uh, there is uh, actually English all throughout this program. So, um, yeah, all the stats are re repeated in English. And there's a little QR code even for your phone um, and stuff. So if you're into that, uh, that can be a prize, a second place person. And then here's two older things I have just kind of lingering that I'm hoping someone will like. Here's a Tochi Notion handprint. And I think if you want this, I also have either a magnet or a keychain I can put in with it because it's easy, it's flat. Um, this is obviously not real in the sense that it, you know, he actually touched it's a reproduction. I think these go for about a thousand yen at the Basho. Um, but that's his sign and that is his hand, but it's it's a reproduction, not an original. And then I just have this cool sumo bag. So we'll call this the mystery bag. If you want the mystery bag, um, I will. Uh, it's just a little tote bag. I think I think some company was giving away free water, and uh, you got a tote bag if you if you bought something. And I will put something fun inside that you don't know what it's going to be. Okay, uh, if you want the mystery bag. So there's just some stuff uh that uh you can get if you are a prize winner so can, uh good luck to everyone that wants to join the contest and deadline for as always is day uh two uh i always give people day one to kind of see what's happening on the 14th and i'll post the videos i'll remind you about the contest in case you don't watch this video etc um and you know who did show up who pulled out you know who's not showing up who looks okay who doesn't look okay and then by the 15th, Monday the 15th at 10 p.m. Japan time, uh, you have to have your, your lineup set. Um, you can do it now and then change it after day one if you want to change someone out. Like let's say Asanoyama you know, broke his pinky or something on Thursday or something and you picked him and you want to pick someone else. Uh, you're able to edit it, but uh, by the 15th, you have to have it locked in. And then it's it's set until the bus show ends on the 28th. Uh, as far as the channel, I should be around. Um, we had a few kind of kind of copyright strikes, but they're not copyright strikes that, that affect the channel. They're just like, hey, you know, you're using our stuff, or we heard a song in the background or something. Um, you you know, if you want to, if you're gonna make money. We get it, but I don't make money on YouTube, so it it's fine. Uh, they, you know, yeah. So I, I think it should be fine. I'm going to do the Abema thing again. Um, that's really my best option right now. Uh, so next Sunday, the 14th, day one, I'll have full stuff. And then, of course, during the week, limited and then at the weekends, both weekends, I don't think I have anything going on significant. So I will be here certainly on 20th and 21st and then 27th, 28th. Uh, and uh, let's uh, have some fun watching Sumo together. Okay. Thanks for uh, sitting through my voice and um, uh, uh, looking at all this stuff. And I'm trying to think, you know, I always think here at the end that I forget something. I think I mentioned everything. So, uh, yeah, welcome back to Sumo here in May. And I will see you again in one week on the 14th. Take care of yourselves. Peace.